Hello, welcome back to Blender Station Live. In this episode, I'm sharing a breakdown of this node tree I created using Geometry Node. Uh, so basically, we have Suzanne, and somehow I managed to make a cutter, and inside Suzanne, I can have like a like a hollow space to put something inside. So the setup is made so that we can cut any object into half, and so it's very simple up to do basically simply by using uh, a bounding box because a, a bounding box of an object is always like it knows the the size and the shape of an object so if we have like Susan head like this no matter how I rotate it if I create geometry nodes and use the bounding box the bounding box will always cover everything in the using a box and then you can transform and scale in the z-axis for example you can offset it so this bounding box is becoming the cutter like a boolean cutter for our objects so this is what's happening over here so geometry comes in there's a we, we use the bounding box we get the minimum and maximum of the bounding box is the is the corner, the top minimum and the bottom minimum, at uh, the maximum. Uh, and what I did, oh, I I have a toggle over here which is kind of doing the boolean, whether it's positive or negative. So we know that boolean will always give like a zero or one number. So I'm using map range make it so it's like mini minus one or one and I'm cutting the boolean into half using the transform and I simply use the boolean to to make a cut of uh, the original object so if I have like a like a torus I can use geometry nodes color so it's gonna cut in half so on top of that if you want to put an object and make like a printable uh, geometry I'm using another boolean let's make a cut um, and this time I'm just using a cube that has been subdivided so it's become like a sphere So this is just another cutter. Just need to make sure the size is correct. And oh yeah, this one is just to translate the inside interior. So here, this uh, this thing is just uh, something created using Sferchal. So I go sphere with random points scattered and connected. So that part is not important. So this uh, so the setup is like this. It's very it's very trivial. However, it's uh, it's very interesting and useful. So no matter what 3D object you have, you can put something inside it using this cutter. Um, I have this this ancient doll I created the other day. Let me try opening it. Oh, okay. It's pretty heavy. So if your if your object is really heavy, um, it is actually a good idea to use the bounding box to know the positions and the scale 
so that later you can just cut it into half and you can cut it in half in the whether it's X or Y or Z directions it's pretty handy that way okay let's take a while it's monkey okay anyway maybe this is gonna take a while to open oh, okay there you go Yeah, I'm using the Apple AirTags there, the Mentos shape um, object finder. So here I'm making like a 3D case for my Apple AirTags. Um, I was thinking this is going to be like a printed printed object, so I will I will just need to make a cut, boolean cut. And yeah, the setup is what we saw earlier using geometry nodes. Oh, I think I know why it's a bit slow because it, this object is pretty high in resolution. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the idea. You have a 3D object and you want to cut it in half. You have uh, this kind of system um, to make a cut, half cut, and then put something inside it. Alright, so hopefully this is useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.